Don't you just love that thanks to AI, we can create pictures like this. We can create pictures like this, or even pictures like these. So guys, in our never ending search for the best image generator out there, we've come across Adobe Firefly, and this is definitely a game changer. And you guys are gonna be finding out exactly why in today's video, guys. But guys, what do we do over here at Zinho Media? It's time for us to stop talking and let's go into the PC. So guys, once you've done all of the sign-ins and all of that stuff for Adobe Firefly, you're gonna come over here. So as you can see guys, there's an in, there's an image section, and then when you go up, there's also a video section. So here you can play around with different types of things, such as text to video, such as image to video, and also translate video. Then it also has a couple of other things, but we are focusing on this section right here, the text to image. So guys, just click on okay for the generating images part, and then you're gonna see examples of the types of things that you can create on Adobe Firefly. We are gonna click on generate on top, and then guys, just click, click on okay to get started, and guys, you'll see that there is a little prompt section right at the bottom. So there is some settings on the left-hand side, guys, but we're gonna get to those in a little bit. First, let's use a prompt. So I'm gonna type in a girl with rainbow colored hair riding a bicycle through a field of giant sunflowers under a bright blue sky. So now this is already pretty colorful and stuff. So I wanna see exactly what it can create just using this prompt. So we're gonna click on the model. We're gonna make sure that it is on Firefly Image 3. Let's leave it at square because I do like that. Then also the content type is there. So you can select between a photo or you can select between art. And you go a little bit lower, guys. I'm thinking maybe we should do what? Now nah, let's leave it on square for now because I think that's going to give us a nice example to use. Then guys, you also have your content type. Like I said, I'm going to leave it on auto for now. And guys, you can just go lower and you also see the composition of this. So guys, basically what they're doing is they're giving us a lot of freedom to create the style. So they're not going to come up with it completely by themselves. We can basically select a couple of things. So here is the style, the visual intensity. We can basically select how much we want it to be. This is also like how much creativity you want them to actually get. So I'm going to leave it in the middle for now. And then over to the bottom, you can also select the effects. You can select a reference idea that you want. For now, guys, I'm not gonna be selecting anything because I would like to see how it would come up with an idea based off of absolutely nothing. I think that's a good way to kind of judge where it is. We're just basically taking a look at that. Maybe I'll type on vibrant colors, maybe that. So do we want lighting? We can have backlight, we can have golden hour, we can have harsh light, we can have low lighting. I'm gonna leave it on none for now, guys. So. And oh, and also this is another cool little feature that you can also choose the camera angle. So you can select a close up, you can select anything that you want. I'm gonna select close up because I wanna see what they can do with the face of this person. And then you just click over there on the side guys and now it's gonna be creating the images for us. I think that not giving it a lot of instructions is a perfect way to judge where it is at. Then we can take a look at when I do give an instruction of what it's gonna come up with. So as you can see guys, it has created the images. So this is completely AI generated. And guys, we have a girl that is diving through a path of sunflowers and she has rainbow colored hair. So guys, as you can see, the details is not necessarily all there, but this is trying to be a, as realistic as possible. So guys, as you can see, the colors are there, the vibrant colors are there. And if you wanna download it, all you have to do is just click on the download icon and then you can get it. But now I'm curious, what if we do give it some instructions? Let's see. So let's go over to reference and then let's select this as a reference. And then let's go down and for the effects, let's, let's make it look like a painting, okay? Let's click on that. And then we're gonna go down a little bit, lighting, camera angle. Um, I like this, okay, let's, let's add on a little something. You can see the girl's face. Okay, the reason why I'm saying that, we can click on generate now. One of the things that I noticed that a lot of image generators do struggle with is the actual creation of a face. This is usually where you see a lot of weird things always happening, so I would like to test it and let's see. And guys, it is completed and as you can see, that is a human looking face. I'm not gonna lie guys, that is actually pretty good. And you can see the other images, the other images as well. And yeah guys, that looks pretty good. And, and all you have to do is just click on the section up top where it says upscale. And then once you upscale it, it's gonna turn into an HD quality image. So guys, they are basically showing you this just so they can basically save some time. But now guys, let's take another one. So a young astronaut floating in space with colorful planets and stars in the background holding a glowing space crystal. So guys, we're gonna take away 
all of the other things that we selected. And guys, we're gonna try and bring this image to life. Let's see what it can do. So we are going to leave it on square image. Then as we go down, mm, you can also select the fast mode if you want to. So that basically means they're gonna come up with something much faster. So it will give you an image in 60 seconds and not really think about it. Let's see what happens if we take it off. So now guys, we're gonna make it into art. And then we go down guys, and then let's select, let's select this one over here guys. And also we can adjust the strength, but I am thinking that this is perfect guys. I'm thinking, I'm feeling like we're creating something special here. Let's select that and then let's go over to effects. Let's leave that for now. Let's select, let's leave it on none for now. And the camera angle, actually, let's select the wide angle here guys. And then we're gonna go over to generate and we're gonna see exactly what it comes up with. Now, we are giving it specific prompts so now it knows exactly what to focus on. So this should actually bring out the two genius of Adobe Firefly. And there we have it guys. So now as you can clearly see here, it looks so much better all because we gave it the prompts. So this is actually pretty cool guys. You can totally see this is this is an astronaut in the middle of space. It is extremely colorful. It looks like a piece of art. And I am absolutely loving the colors. I'm loving the choices that it made here. And there you can see the crystal in his hands as well, guys. This looks so awesome, guys. What I am thinking, guys, is I love these examples already. And let's try one more. A skateboarder with colorful clothes doing a trick in a bright city park with graffiti walls and green trees, guys. So let's click on generate and let's see what it can come up with. Now we already have those pumps. We left it exactly the same. And now let's see what it comes up with with regards to the skateboarder. And there you can see it, guys. Look at how cool this looks. Okay. As you guys can also spot that the face does need a little bit of work and that is something that Adobe Firefly is going to have to work on. So the girl before that looked better, but that was mainly probably because it had less things to focus on. So because it was only focusing on the girl's face, it made that look cool. Now it's focusing on the graffiti, it's focusing on the colors, it's focusing on her. It kind of just messed up the face just a little bit. But at the same time, guys, I'm sure if I had to, if I had to change up the prompts, I'm sure to be able to fix that. So guys, Adobe Firefly, for a tool that is free to use, I must say that it actually did pretty well. And guys, as you can see from this example and this example and this example, you can see that this is a couple of other things that I was creating and I was basically just playing around with it and it was able to create some awesome looking things. So guys, it all does depend on how you do put in your prompts, how you do select your styles and stuff, and also if your styles do clash at all. And then Adobe Firefly can actually create some pretty cool things, guys. The cool thing is that Adobe is offering a whole lot of other tools to look through so guys we are going to be doing videos on those in the coming future and if you guys know of any other topics that you guys want us to talk about then let us know in the comments and while you guys are down there don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so that you can always stay up to date with every new video that is coming out guys this was so much fun and i cannot wait to see you on the next one